This video is sponsored by AMF Magnetics. Hey everyone, Scoop Scientist here. Recently, I made a video about magnets and I demonstrated this cool thing using a big magnet and a conductor of some kind. I used copper to create eddy currents or showcase magnetic breaking. Now, I encourage you to check out that video because in a way, this video is a part two. I mentioned that when you get a magnet and a conductor of some kind, there are two main principles that can explain what's going on. The first is Lenz's law, which I explained in that video, and the second is Faraday's law of induction. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate today. So let's do it. So let me explain real quick my initial plan of how I wanted this video to work and then I'll show you how that failed miserably and then I can explain how I'm going to work around that. So I have here a drill as you can see that with a wheel and a bunch of magnets attached to it. These magnets were kindly sent to me from AMF Magnetics but you may recognize that this wheel is actually from my Stirling engine. I had this idea of boiling a cup of water and getting my Stirling engine up and running and then attaching some magnets to it so I can generate electricity from hot water which would have been really cool but the issue I ran into is that the whole engine is actually made of metal so whenever I would attach magnets to it they would attract to the base of the engine and seize up and no longer spin I tried many different size magnets and many different copper coils but after weeks of testing I actually never got it to work so that's why I have a drill so you're gonna have to play a bit of pretend here with me today. This uh, this drill is my Stirling engine and the drill battery, that's my cup of hot water. And also a side note, if you don't know what a Stirling engine is or how it works, you can check out my video on Stirling engine. A link will be in the description for that. So Faraday's law of induction states that whenever a conductor is placed in a varying magnetic field, an electromotive force is induced. So basically that's saying that if I have a moving magnetic field around a conductor, I can generate voltage or electricity. So I have here a copper coil. This is from a destroyed CD player. And I have a magnetic field that I will spin with the drill. So these magnets here are actually arranged uh, so I can create an alternating current. So it's north, south, north, south, north, south, all the way around and uh, I can demonstrate that right now. So I've got the multimeter set up. Let's see if I spin this magnetic field near this copper coil. It's wrapped in the, the blue plastic here, but uh, we'll see if I can generate some kind of voltage, get some kind of reading. So right now the magnetic field near the copper coil, um, when it's not moving, it does nothing. If I start it to spin, Let me get a different angle of that, but that's working. Yeah, awesome. It looks like a hit two volts which is really cool that's actually the highest amount of voltage I've generated with this so far through my testing okay so how does this actually work well basically electricity is just flowing electrons and if you think about it electrons are kind of tiny magnets themselves they have a negative charge and so you can push them using a magnet so I've got a bit of a crude demonstration here. This bunch of magnets here is representative of electrons and then the magnet I've got here in my hand, this is representative of, of the magnet and then I'm gonna guide this, the electrons here with my hand so this I guess is representative of the copper coil. But if I move the magnet near the electrons, you see they actually 
they actually move. It's a bit of a crude demonstration, and it's not entirely accurate, but uh, it can hopefully get the point across. Yeah, and so a moving magnetic field actually pushes electrons on a copper coil, making them move. And so you see, typically in copper, electrons are loosely held, and so you can easily push them around and make them move. And the very definition of electricity is moving electrons. So this small model here that I've shown today is a very basic setup of how a majority of the world's electricity is produced today. People have just come up with a bunch of different ways to make magnets move around coils of copper wire. Whether that's using wind, waves, geothermal or other kinds like that, it just moves magnets around wire which causes electrons to move, which is the very definition of electricity. So I hope you found this interesting and have learned something new today about Faraday's law of induction and how electricity is generated. A uh, big thank you to AMF Magnetics for sponsoring this video and sending me the magnets used in this video. Big shout out to them. If you're in the business for magnets, um, they have it all. Every shape, kind, size, whatever you need, anything to do with magnets, they've got it. So big thank you to them. Those guys are awesome. If you want to check them out, then there will be a link in the description to their website. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this.